We got my boy here, fucking Dr. Evil. Welcome back from Boston. Boston. How's it feel? The Thanks. land of the freckled pussies. I mean, I guess. Right? I don't know, man. The juicy Irish pussies, man. Irish pussy, man. Speaking of that, what's some top tier fucking puss? Let's let's name this off. What's the number one? Just right into number it. Number one. Is that the, the fuck so, hell. <laughs> Where was she from? About? Where was she from? That's all that's on my boy's mind. That that's number one. Doctor Evil, where was she from? Who? The number one puss you've ever had in your life. Where was she from? Come on, let's go. Spit it out. Swedish. No. You can be general. Canadian? She was human. <laughs> like yeah, I don't know. Nothing really comes to mind. What do you mean? So none of them were great. All right. Hector? Asian. Asian? Asian. Uh, let me take a shot in the dark. Uh, <laughs> Chinese? No? No. Filipino? <laughs> yes. Oh, how did I know that? And for me, it varies. I've had like three, and they were all very different. Well, because you just told us about this like new... New yeah. contestant. New contestant. It's interesting. You know, the the ones you least expect. It's almost like they come out of the blue. They excel in the darkness. You know what I'm saying? Kind of. Um Doctor Evil apparently uh like if I if I could redo one of them. Yeah, it would Korean, funny enough. <laughs> oh yeah, redo? Actually, yeah, yeah. Like it's that good that mm. he wants to redo it. I do remember yeah, you saying that at one point. Yeah. I think that changed your mind on Koreans in general. Not really. Well, because they, oh, yeah, they weren't even buddy. on your mind before, oh, right? That buddy. wasn't even a thing. I didn't think of it as Korean until this guy's fucking obsessed with it. Anyo. Well, no. I mean, you knew that it was Korean back. This is an Asian person. No, no, no. You knew it was Korean for sure. I knew, but I didn't think of it as... I didn't think of them as Korean. What the fuck? What, like, what, what is yo, this? Yo, like, yo, what son. is some like, I don't son. see color shit? Uh, uh, they're just people, you know? I don't Get see race. Get the fuck out of here. I don't see race. I don't have time to see these people that care about, like, politics. And <laughs> <laughs> I'll take all, like, two minutes. Yo, literally, literally, literally the worst. Literally all of them. Uh, okay, so quick question. What's the worst thing to do at a funeral? Worst thing to do at a funeral? I don't know. Dr. Talk Evil, what do you think? Talk about yourself. I've only been to that one funeral that we went to. That on your birthday. That's your only one? Yeah. Was that even a funeral? Or was that, that was like a, a wake? That was 100% a funeral. Okay. Because we a didn't bit of see a wake the casket though. go down. No, right? no, yeah, we, yeah. no, we didn't. That, that's the burial. Oh, okay. We were there for the actual, like, the Dr. funeral. Dr. Can you pass that right here? This bag, white bag right here? White bag. We were there for um, his funeral, like, the church, the mass, and everything. Like he, Yeah. I remember you mentioned that he wasn't really a church-going guy, but I'm guessing his family was. Because that's, that's how they we had him. We missed the good part, which was the food and the... You know that no. they had the slides after the food. We stayed for not the food. not the food, but well, <laughs> we stayed for a bit of it. Yeah, I mean, we no, didn't. We, was we stayed for I think an hour. <laughs> One guy showed up, I started talking about the uh, it was like NBA finals were on or something. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Dude, what? I, let's not name him, but I'll tell you after. It's uh, one guy. So funny. You have terrible memory, sir. No, but no, yeah. I just don't remember that part. I just I do remember like people talking about it. Yeah, yeah. I remember one who actually like super complimentary. like you know changed my life all this stuff. I'm like, oh, that's cool. Fuck. But uh, yeah, the corpse. That's the worst thing to do at a at a funeral. <laughs> you motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> that's the worst that's thing to so do fucked. at a funeral. You get that? What fuck a corpse? Yeah. Yeah. That was spooky too. Mm -hmm. Actually, seeing the body. Uh, I don't think it was that spooky. I think it was like cool though. I think it was uh, it gave me peace of mind to see this this motherfucker like Different just sleep. He looked really bad. I mean, no, I thought I thought he looked peaceful, him. man. I mean, like yeah, given that, but like I was thinking about it. The, the guy is dead. Like to think of him as he's supposed to have some prestige body, but like I think I was just happy to see him that he's not like in pain or something. Yeah, it's, I, it's he just looked way smaller. His lips were yeah pursed in. They yeah. didn't have any lips anymore. It's interesting to see p different people's reactions to an open casket. Some people can't be around it at all. Like, mm. they can't even, they're like, no. There was, there there it. was three of us in there. And it so was me, Hector. Uh, Doc, Dr. Evil. Dr. Evil. And uh, I think the, the sister walked in. And that was it. No, my dad was there too, remember? No, no, your dad was there. But I'm saying, like, in the room at, at the time we were in there, there was only, like, three, three of us. Mm. It's strange because there's some people who absolutely need to see bodies. For whatever reason, like you, uh, uh, I'm not saying you said that, but 
Some people need it for closure purposes. Yeah. And some people just need it to, I don't know. They yeah, need, I like, do. Proof, I, need, right? I need to I need I, to see. And I get it. That's, like, totally underst- you know, understandable. But I always found it interesting to see different people's, like, needs for that kind of thing. Because some people are like, listen, man, I don't just, I'll, I'll go and see the plaque kind of thing. Like, I don't, you know, I'm good. And other people are like, no, I need to see, like, the body go down to the ground for some, like, for reason to make sure that it's, like, over or something. I don't think anybody saw the burial. Uh, probably close family. The burial like, was family. in uh, Quebec. Yeah. yeah. So family, yeah. Very few people probably. saw it. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm, so I'm saying. Like, immediate family. It's uh, it's cool to see that this guy was, like, such a cool guy that, like, multiple generation Many of students people. came. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know, uh, you know, vice principals, teachers, stuff like that, colleagues came. That was cool to see. Mm-hmm. But, um, yeah, man, it's good. I mean, the guy had to go there early, man. It's, it is what it is. I'd rather go at 63 than go at, like, 95 and, like, and some... 65. But you know what I'm saying? Like, I'd rather go at that age than go at, like, you know, some 97 where I'm, like, stuttering, shitting myself, just living with a diaper. Well, the the thing, too, I mean, yeah, he, he went early, but he was suffering at the end, bro. He was suffering for, like, two years. That's what I'm saying. So it's like, but that's I'd rather go, I'd rather go early. Huh? Yeah, but that's two years of suffering. I, it was like a year, maybe a bit less than a year. But a guy like that wanted to fight it. Like a guy like me True. wouldn't. I was I was telling Doctor Evil, like, you know. Would you just tapped out early? I listen, man. When I hit like sixty five, I'm probably gonna be in pretty decent shape. I'm still gonna do like thirty cc's of morphine and, and get out <laughs> get out while I'm on top. Morphine. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just Fair OD. Enough, I guess. But like, no. The reason I say morphine is because it's so clean. It's like top shelf. Shelf. It's top shelf heroin, Trying man. To get medical grade morphine, just to medical like, grade morphine. It's in the will, but uh, it's <laughs> it's. <laughs> that, I think it's just better. Like, wouldn't you want to go out like not suffering? Or like, oh, if I thing- found out, I would do it too. That'd uh, probably be even better. Like, if I just found out, like I'm gonna die from some terminal stuff, have have a week of fun, do you know, see as many people I I want to fucking see, and then just fucking call it it. Go out on my own terms instead of going out. Get, Getting the virus to kill you. Mm. I think there's many people who would prefer that. Going out on their own terms versus, like, as you mentioned. I disagree slightly for this reason. Um, People that I've come across, maybe you've come across different people, but people I've come across have a hard time calling it quits on that. Like, it takes a certain uh, uh, strength and will to be, like, I'm not trying to, like, boast on myself, but generally to just kill yourself. I wouldn't go that far, but I think... (laughs) When when people <laughs> when people kind of think about that end of life scenario, they don't. They're basically just trying to avoid the loss of cognitive ability, right? I'd rather not, kind of thing. But they're not saying that the alternative is that they're gonna kill themselves right now, kind of thing, right? Like that, they just want to avoid the worst, but they're not right. considering what the what the exit actually would be. Okay, I don't mind it. Um. I just think that uh, the the like if you have to like do physical torture to kill yourself, that's well. I don't think a lot of people no, would actually no. do that. <laughs> no, because at that point you deter a lot of people. Just from last week, like just me telling people I, I put my fucking elbow. That's not even like that fucking serious. What putting oh, like your elbow re- back re- in, re- resetting it? Most people, like I would say, eighty percent were like significantly surprised. I believe it. But, like, you know, for me, it's like, yeah, okay, whatever. Like, if I have a cyst on my face, you think I'm going to go to a doctor? I'm going to take out, like, a fucking... Dude, please go see a doctor. 18-gauge fucking fucking needle. Just pop my face with some betadine and fucking alcohol and clean that shit up, Please see a doctor, man. Just because you've watched Dr. Pimple Popper on Snapchat for, like, a few months. I am now a dermatologist is what I'm telling you. All of a sudden, this guy's a fucking expert. Three months is enough. (laughs) Three months is enough. Imagine like you do this, you pull up your phone as a reference and you're like, all right, that looks pretty close to my shit. Let's fucking send it. If anybody's going to be able to do it among us, it'd probably be me. We're, we're in the future now. I mean, all this stuff happens for Are a reason. Are we in the future? I mean, yeah, fucking uh, curry one. Bro, four. Can't see that Zippo? Which one? Uh, there's Whichever. multiple. There's just two. Let's see both. Yo, don't pick me, huh? Don't bick me like that, baby. Don't bick m- my Zippos. Christmas? What do you mean Christmas? No, I, I gave him this one, actually, because uh, I felt bad. What did I, thought, I do? I thought it was a Christmas. You Zippo. fucking stopped recording like eight. Th- this is like the ninth time you stopped recording. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> I gave, I, this is, remember, this is the first one I ever bought? 
That's it. It's from back in high school. I don't remember that. No, I did something else for you. Yeah, it was something. I don't know, man. I don't keep track of these things. I just know that I forgive it. Yeah, I don't keep track of it. You know what I mean? I don't really know I'll remember things I give for you and things you give for me, but I'm like, I don't remember what it was for. I don't remember what it was for. Yeah, yeah. They had a fuel. So, anyways, what's been going on? What's been going on? We have a podcast weekly, man. You fucking keep up with our lives that way. What's That's been why going we do on? This. Um, is it me or this is why I wanted us to do Red Bulls? No, I'm good. But you guys, I want me to bring you I guys. Had a, I had a Red Bull. This guy's, no, no, this, this guy's, guy's, this guy's down. Guy's faded, yeah. This guy's down, well, son. It's, it's five, four and five, five in a. Boston. Yeah. Nah. Fair enough, it is. This guy. What, what happened to Zannies and the airplane, bro? Actually, yeah. You ran what, out or what? what? I, didn't, I didn't have any. I think I yeah, left some in my. You ran out. No. What really happened is yeah. he's trying to tell us he's a fucking addict. No, I and didn't. He, he went through his fucking dosage. Jesus. I left them in the freezer of that apartment so that the tenants have them. Oh. Nice. Tell just a bunch of them. nine-year-old kids just getting fucking morphed out, son. Morphine Wait, actually, is nice. left them in the freezer uh, of the... <laughs> which apartment? The one I was living in. Oh, uh, Bro, buddy. could you imagine? Morphed out. For Dude, the next, the next tenant was going to be like, yo, who was this cat that lived here? Just lines of fucking morphine. There's morphine in the Zan. fucking... There's Xanax and an antibiotics. I put them in the freezer. Oh, bro. Good old penicillin Xanax yeah. combo. A couple of fucking needles and you're fucking it says solid. There's a name on it, too. I should have taken that out. It's too late. Does probably. it say your PHN, too, or no? Probably. Yeah, probably. No, ah, you fucked up. Probably. You fucked up, son. What are your, what's your um, schedule PHN. like in Boston? <laughs> 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 941 642. <laughs> 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 do, you, do you remember yours? Yeah, man. 945, probably, right? No, actually, you're, you came way later, so never mind. I came way yeah, later. Personal yeah, yeah. health number? Yeah. I don't remember mine, though. This guy came, he was born here. I wasn't born no, here. No, he wasn't. No. <laughs> he <laughs> was like a toddler holding on to like, the I side of the of fucking plane. You were like four? It's two. Oh, two. Oh, uh, bro, he wasn't even walking. I, well, he wasn't underdeveloped. He was walking. <laughs> I, mean, he, he, I mean, he's still underdeveloped. He was, he so. wasn't, he wasn't. <laughs> I was waiting. I'm like, how's he going to spin that? <laughs> <laughs> he's still underdeveloped, bro. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, I, no, I was just asking you, what, what, what's your schedule, schedule like in Boston? Yeah, are you, are wake you up, up late? At like, uh, yeah, I wake Jesus. up at like 8.30. And then that's not late. No, no. But that's what I, I guess. Well, I, go, I go to bed at like 2 or 3. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. And uh, man. talking to the mic, though, huh? Like a little bit louder. Give me that know? sexy voice. I don't need to hear Mr. Rogers here. I'm trying to. I mean, Mr. Oh, you got the fan going and. No, no that it doesn't, doesn't pick that, doesn't that up. Is music in the back? Yeah. Yeah, yeah but it's, it's just for us. So it doesn't record? No. 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 Oh, I see. Oh, shit. No kidding. Uh, sure, buddy. Yeah, I didn't even stutter on that. Um. Bum, I'm trying to turn that down a bit. Yeah, it's, a ni- it's not a 9 to 5, but it's a Monday to Friday gig for sure. How many hours do you do in a week? So I'll, I'll come in at like 9, 9.15, and then I'll leave around like 7-ish, maybe 8. So you do 10s? 11 sounds like. Yeah, but it's not like, I'll take like an hour or two breaks sometimes. Yeah, no shit, you're staying there till like. Sure, so let's yeah. say 8 and a half to 9 hours. Yeah. Okay, so what? you're doing 45-hour weeks. Sounds like 10, okay. He's like he says he says that he's going to go like fuck off for two hours and like go eat lunch. Not all at once. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll like. Yeah. So like 30 minutes 40 here, minutes, 40 minutes yeah. here. Stuff yeah. So like in that. total one hour, you say. No, he said one to two no, hours. Yeah, the total is like one to two. Yeah. Okay. Depends yeah. Depends on the, on the day. So he does eight and a half to nine hour days. Okay. Which is it's pretty maxed reasonable. out 45 hours. Uh, what yeah. do you do, Hector? Close to the uh, depends. Like some, the heavy weeks, like 50, but try to keep it to like 45 or less. To be honest, it doesn't make sense to do more. It's like, yeah. what? What the fuck's the point? I mean, for y- your project pays, so maybe for you it pays off. I, I don't know. Uh, or like, it's, do you feel like it's it just? It's a strange kind of job. Like, you know, we'll set up experiments that have. There has to be a certain amount of time per day. No, I mean you'll set up an experiment. And you don't know the results for like six hours. So and you want to be there at the end of the six hours. So if you start late, then you could be extending your overall. If you start day late, kind of come come back tomorrow or start it earlier in the day, and then during that waiting time, you can do whatever you want. You can spend time reading. Fair enough. Yeah. Okay. I mean, you should be doing things that are. Sounds re- like a firefighter, bro. Really. Almost. Yeah. I was like on yeah. call. Let me just go do yeah. bench press while I do this activation of this that's chemical. Like, that's like the upside of this is. There's. 
a lot of emphasis on like self personal development yeah, yeah. on top of actually doing productive things. Is and that so um they trust you to balance those two things out. Is that common in your field in general, regardless uh, of what company you're I don't for? know. I think it's it's emphasized here way more. Interesting. If you're in a smaller company it's not as emphasized. It, it, no, they there would be like a higher pressure to produce. Yeah. I remember you mentioning that, like that there were guys from your previous lab that would go get paid. I'm actually not sure if you said that they would get paid to do so, but they would go like conferences and like these mm. professional development things. Is that yeah. is that something that your current work would pay for? Yeah, they have that too. Yeah, that's cool. I mean, it can be because I mean, somebody sounds like a lot of that died down Europe. with COVID, but fair enough. It's yeah, slowly amping up too. The good ones are like overseas though too, right? Like you could be going to Europe, you could uh, be going to like whatever. I mean, I think a lot of the best stuff still in the U.S. Mm. Not like Switzerland or something. UK. Nah, I. Th- m- the the research hub in in Boston is like two to three times bigger than the one in Switzerland. That's crazy. So, yeah. Boston, 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 freckle pussy. Did you meet? Have you met people with like a fucking like Goodwill hunting <laughs> Boston accent? Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I thought cool. you were gonna say something else. How's that like? What's that like? Do you just get rock hard yeah, like, while I listen to this guy? W- sort of. W- the the guy even told me he's from. W- well, we met the guy in uh, New York. He didn't seem that strong to me, to be honest. I was expecting more. His is. Is it pre- that pretty strong? Yeah, okay. I thought his was pretty strong. Because when we were in New York, mm. most of the people there didn't really have that strong of a New York accent. I was kind of disappointed. They're not New Yorkers, I think. In that's the thing. They're Most they're people are immigrants. Most yeah. people are, especially Manhattan people. Yeah. You go in there for work. You go in there for like whatever reason. So you're not yeah. really from New you York. You probably have to go to like Brooklyn or something. Then or you get Long Island. Yeah. <laughs> Long Island. I went to a store to check out boots. And the two guys there were from Queens. Yeah. And as soon as I walk in, an elevator door, take it, go upstairs. Elevator opens. The guys there at the desk is like... How you doing? Yeah. And I'm like, damn. I'm like, I've been waiting fucking four days for this shit. Someone to just tell me how you doing. And he wasn't even like putting up a fucking act. Like, that was just him. Yeah. Because when I asked him, like, you know, get me size 11, he's like, mm. no problem. I'm like, yeah. fuck, dude. This is so cool. Yeah. He's probably looking at me like an idiot. Like, dude, this is like, don't act surprised. This is just like my life. Boston's accent sounds more like Jewish people in New York. What's worth, I've been in York. Boston for like five hours total, maybe. Like but Cambridge is how far from it's Boston? Yeah, but it's also like I it's think right uh, next to it. it's pretty different. Still, I think though. I think uh, in those hubs of like education or uh, I see. Yeah, okay, I know what you're. You're yeah. gonna see less of this because it's gonna be more multicultural. Yeah. Versus like uh, if you go to like the, you know, some construction site somewhere. You yeah, know, low IQ like guys. It's yeah. just people from out of state, out of country. Say, well, same idea as we just mentioned with like Manhattan and New York. Yeah. You're gonna get a lot of people really not from. Not really sep- from yeah, there. Exactly. Separated by a river, so there's. Uh, Dude, this is like a good large fucking physical beat. boundary there. I'm about <laughs> to fucking see Jesus with this. Dude, finish this blunt. Um, Doctor Evil. Mm. We were talking about something in the car, which is interesting. It's not about girls, is it? It is. Christ. <laughs> okay, let me just, for everybody who's listening, but actually everybody who listens already fucking knows. If ever you hear my boy over here say something, in, like he's like, yo, something interesting, 60-40 chance, it's about girls. This is a 40% though. That keeps you on your toes, right? Might that even 40%. be 70 honestly. No, 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 no. 60-40. No. 60-40. What we were talking about it was uh, the uh, variable mortgages and oh, how it could actually flip real fast. So people that are looking good right now in life, you know, because a lot of people look good, but they're in a lot of debt. Mm. And this, you know, s- has significantly the market has significantly went down. And if it ke- if if they keep trying to raise interest to match inflation. A lot of these variable mortgages, I think I read somewhere it was like one out of four mortgages across Canada that are variable mortgages, residential at least, they're going to go down. They're going to go way down. So you're going to be, you know, in your marble floors. Next thing you know, you're sucking dick downstairs outside, son. Did you go variable or fixed? <laughs> <laughs> That's the funny part. Yours? V- variable, yeah. <coughs> yeah I'll, I'll be back. I surprisingly, I went fixed. 
but not really because I was super. What did you get for a rate? 1.9. 1.9 fixed? Yeah. That's really good. Yeah, it was. That's the reason why. For I how many years? Five. Yeah. That's I, I wasn't, when I was going between variable and fixed, I wasn't super worried about, even though probably, you know, should have, if, if hindsight's 50-50, Mm. I wasn't super worried about <laughs> what the market was going to look like in, you know, X amount of months or even years. Mm. I was really just trying to get like a decent rate either way. And when I went through a broker, I got a really good variable rate. It was like 1.45, which yeah. at the time was like really, really great. Was bottom, yeah. But that same brokerage was uh, only offering me like 2.2 .2 fixed. And I was like, okay, I'm, I'm going to talk to my bank and see what they can offer me. Mm. And so my bank came back with a variable rate that was not that great. It was like, honestly, like 1.8, eight, yeah. five. And they're like, but fix, we can do 1.9, 1 1.95. I'm like, okay, perfect. Yeah. Let's do that. So locked it in on that. But otherwise I, I would have, I, my preference at that time was to go variable. Mm. Obviously now it looks like a great decision that I didn't, but it's just kind of how it goes. I don't know. It depends how much, to what extent someone's living paycheck to paycheck? If money is that tight, we're like, well, no, dude, I, I mean, fuck money in, being in general, that tight. Like, no, money doesn't mean at, as at, much at, anymore. No, well, not even that, but just on the money? on the math side of things, at the rate that the interest interest rates are going up right now, mm. it insane, makes, dude. It just decade highs, decade highs, 20, 30, 40 year highs, bro. What are we talking about here? Yeah, but I mean, that's. What do you mean, bro? You counter that against the decade lows as well. Yeah, but if you, you only like just signed zero interest rates, and you only so. signed for five years anyway, so if you're talking about you signed last year, you're gonna be in a variable for another five years. However, the other people that are just coming out of variable, they're totally yeah, they're absolutely. They're well, you cruising. can adjust it. You can and change you know what? People say like don't get fixed just, just in case. Uh, I don't think pretty so. Pretty sure you do. You can't just be flopping in between either or. No, I'm pretty sure I can. I remember, w but it, when I looked at the fixed rates that they were offering, they were like substantially higher. So, yeah, but if he, he but if once, okay, once you, hold on. But then at that point, once you go fixed, you can't go back to variable rate. You can't, you can't just be flopping in between both uh, every I month. I don't know about switching. From Not every variable. month, but every five years you can. Yeah, yeah, but he's talking about in be in the term, like in that five year term. I don't know you if you can do that or not, but anyway, as that aside, um, this isn't Investopedia. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Let's keep her going here. Yeah, so so that aside, um. The one thing that's interesting is, uh, like, mm. you know, back in, like, I, th I would say 15 years ago. That's back in the day. 15 years that's ago. back in the day for sure. When I heard somebody say, so when we were, like, you know, give or take 13, 14, when somebody told me they made 100 grand, a lifestyle was attached to that label of making 100 grand. Mm. Okay. Now, I see people left, right, and center making 100 grand that I'm around or it's more common, mm. but it's meaningless because they live like average ass lives. Hundred grand is not the same hundred grand anymore. I mean, that's just at math. all. That's math. We no, no, no. That. But like regular jobs offer hundred grand now, bro. Uh, yes and no. A lot of jobs offer hundred grand. Like, dude, fifteen years ago, very few jobs. There was like maybe f five or six things that paid more than hundred grand o outside of sales. I feel like you were less involved outside of sales in the employment market. 15 years ago than you are now no i would i would say yeah sure but right. i would so also there, say that, that. It, there, that's it, one side of it there's also the inflation factor and and that's the biggest factor well that's what i said about that's just straight math yeah like, that's just no one can no one can talk about it that's just facts 100 grand in 2010 is not worth the same in 2022 that's just math so now there's a lot of people making under 100 grand mm. yes. or, or i'd say majority many, of people. many many people so what the fuck are they doing that's the real S fucked up readjusting their lives. You know, you got Justin Trudeau over here fucking taking pictures in restaurants and then you got these fucking, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. With you. Yeah. <laughs> fucking. You want to just, when you edit, just put yeah. a picture put right a here. Yeah. I'm going to say right here on the screen. <laughs> Yo, right low key. Here. I looked all of us. Yeah. I looked way bigger than this guy. That's not okay. That's great. But like this guy doesn't lift. He should though. Why? So you don't end up like Biden. Have we not learned? Biden is like 80, bro. So is f uh, Donald is almost yeah, 82. Yeah, Donald's going to fucking keel over too. You think these guys are living healthy lives? No, no, Donald's fucking... You talk about Donald like he's some fucking like beacon of health. Uh, dog, this Donald guy is, eats, is, is eats more, high energy. This guy eats more McDonald's Yo, listen like to me. <laughs> if if my mom 
has the energy levels of Donald. Shut all right? up. When he when she's seventy three, I'm, I'm gonna walk out of here, man. When she's seventy three, I'm stoked. Oh my god, dude, Donald has high energy Shut levels. Shut up, man. Armand's this weird combination of like selective forward looking, like certain things he'll <laughs> yes. think about in the long, yes. long term, and then everything else is like two month <laughs> horizon. Best way to live. It's basically a few things that you care about, and everything else is just a distraction. That's really what it is. Because it's yeah. like even even if you accomplish the best thing in the world, you're eventually gonna die. So it's like, what what is the really the point here? You're just trying to like, like ultra nihilist over here. You're, you're <laughs> just trying to like save some time and like Listen, you know man, be in a good all, mood while all, you die. We're, we're all doomed over here, so we're just gonna have to like do what yeah. we gotta do. No, you just gotta do it though. Like it, it, like what else are you gonna do? You're gonna be fucking homeless? Like no, you can you don't you can choose to not feel like that, man. You can yeah. choose to feel like it's better. <laughs> what the fuck? I think you can choose, but I think some people don't really have that uh, control. I think a lot of people don't have that control. It's a developed it's good. It's skill. Good. Yeah, it's sure. It's a skill. It's sure. not, it doesn't just come to people overnight. Yeah. You don't just all of a sudden wake up. You're like, I'm just going to fucking be. Yeah. I mean, it can be kind of a cop out if you just take a super pessimistic attitude. No, no, no. Pessimistic. Uh, it, it's it's not really pessimistic. I would say it's it's like pretty realistic. It's just factual. It's a certain way that. Well, hold on. Because some people need like, okay, I'll say this. I'll say this. Some people will need to be in a in a in an optimistic state a majority of their life to be and some people have a view of a certain idea that they don't actually attach emotion to it it's just like a a, a fact that they accept at a certain point there, there whether it sounds to you to be pessimistic or not that's kind of subjective but the fact is is like in their mind the way they view it is not in a pessim pessim uh, pessimistic way so it doesn't affect them negatively yeah, but you, you were almost sounding like you knew what you're talking about there. You were like no, no, no. Listen, like in bits, your mind, when I say bits. those words, when I say X word to you, subjectively, it'll sound no, negative. No. You're already being subjective the moment you deviate from pure facts. That's just that's just life. No, no. no but what I just said about uh, you know, the time you'll die anyway. He said it's pessimistic, but no, it's, no, it's a fact. That, that's not all that you said. There are other things that you attach to it that well, you were your opinion. I'm not saying you're wrong. No, right? no, no. Your I'm just your opinion. No, no, my that maybe that's a bad example. The whole idea is is that if if I say X idea and you take it a certain way and and somebody else looks at it, the point is is that you don't look at it pessimistically, but maybe it means something. You know, the the words maybe what, sound what pessimistic. What are you saying? If you're gonna die anyway, so what's the point? Kind of thing. I, I don't really know exactly like what terms we're we're going in, but it was basically something like you're gonna you're, you're whatever you do, even if you accomplish something like significant in in, in your life, you're you're eventually gonna die. So it's like, you know, what is really the point? It's like there, you know, right there. Let me stop you right there. The moment that you started started saying what, that's purely subjective. And that's your own opinion. Everything before that was factual. No, that maybe, what, maybe that what's sure. the point? That is a complete subjective that opinion. That could be your summary of it, and somebody else can have something else. What you but said sure. before was facts, and no one can ever disagree with that, right? Because you're like, okay, we're all going to die. Everybody knows that. That's a fact. No one can dispute. Yeah. Now, mean, if you say, what's the point? No, well, you could say, what's the purpose? And and that's a question. That's not Wait, subjective. If you, if you flip but it and, and yeah, That was a rhetorical question, the way you said it. Though. Sure. Uh, come on. Uh, you're uh, trying uh, to beat me on technicality. I'll give it to you. I don't care. But You could say the same thing. So imagine you don't... <laughs> now he doesn't care. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> what's... <laughs> now I see. What's now the what's the point? Well, now what's the there point? There we go. And that's what we wanted. Where are the sound effects at? Give me, give me an air horn right now, bro. Give me an air horn right now. But turn that up first and turn off the camera. Turn off the fuck. I gotta keep my hands up so I go home. I gotta like bang, bang, bang. Imagine if you didn't die. If you live forever, you'd be like, well, what's the point of doing anything? You live forever. No, I think what living forever it actually gives you more purpose. To be like uh, serving the people. I don't know. If you live forever, what do you mean? then if it's you live forever, you could serve the people. Y you don't you get could control just one, the world. One chance to do Why anything. not do that now? Uh, not enough time. Why? I think Why because when you matter? start at a certain level, I think I think there's a certain connection you need and a certain timeline that it takes. And uh, pe some people have faster growth, like very fast growth in popularity, and some people not so much. So it's. But why? And is, and why is that a? a hmm. Why does that prevent you from? I try to people. calculate. Is serving people? I try to serve people, but uh, at at what scale is the is the point, right? Is if you live forever, I mean, Hector, you could come to me after you went to some youth camp. I get it. You're a better guy than I am, Not sure. But that aside, literally <laughs> never mentioned that. That aside, like, okay. okay. 
I'm just I'm just fucking with you. There's a subjective part right there. I just fuck with you. But yeah, listen. Listen. Uh I'm talking about just pure scale, right? It'd be it'd be much easier to to be a a, a fucking a profit if you live for a thousand years versus if you live a hundred years, you have more of a chance. Is my point. So, Doctor was just asking the question. He's like, no, why? No. Why not just do it? And I, I and then I asked the follow up. Why not just do it now? Right? Because I just don't think you have the same timeline. And like, it, bro, it seems like a f- fuck ton of work to do it in fucking the next, let's say, forty years. And that's fair. If that, if that's you know, take just on it. just to calculate like where to start. Like, I, I I have a headache. Like, can you imagine? Like you're trying to, I can't even like the idea that you're gonna have to reach to, let's say, well, you're thinking seventy re- percent of the the greater population. You're thinking real big, though. You're thinking like that's gl- what I'm saying, like world changing. That's that's, Why? but that's that's a scale that would matter, right? Why not start smaller? M- matter to who? No, I'm saying, can it be done in the next forty years? Is my question to myself, right? To to at the scale that I would want it to be, it it wouldn't. And and to serve people like yeah I'm polite and stuff like that and I, if I, if if somebody needs help you know I'll, I'll help them out but there's a certain level to that right and there's a certain yeah, level of uh, why does it have to be seventy percent of the population you that's one kind of what I'm getting to that I'm like you know, why why does that have to be the scale at which you like w- are willing to do it why not is what's the problem with starting smaller do you ever hear that is uh, no m- my point is not whether to start whether it's smaller or, or larger my point is if I'm trying to get to a number. If I can do that number in 40 years, let's say, if that's my timeline, mm-hmm. I do it. If I can't, I don't do it. I don't sit around and say, hey, why can't I get to 1% or why can't I get to 0.75%? I don't, that's not my goal. My goal is something Seems else. So it's pretty like, arbitrary. sure, but like, that's the same as you. I could be like, why did you pick this goal versus that goal? Or why did you just keep going with something? It's like, yeah, but picking a goal doesn't. What do you? Uh, that's not you my said? rationale. I'm sorry, for not I love you, but that made no worthwhile. sense. Okay, hold on, hold on. Yeah, try again. So you guys have you're like okay, your purpose is to help people, right? Well, is, let's is, let's is assume that. Yeah, we'll, okay. we'll assume that. Yeah. Okay. So if you're trying to help people, any scale of helping people mm-hmm. is y- your goal is fulfilled, correct? Of the goal of strictly helping yeah. people. Yes. So in technicalities, right? Well, yeah. So just basically, like I'm, I'm I'm at least exactly. helping people. Yes. My goal isn't to just help people because I think I do that just living. Okay. Okay. My goal is to be at a scale where I could change like it, kind of like a revolution in my lifetime, right? If if I can do that in 40 years, then I'll go after it. But if I can't do that, I don't sit around and say, okay, if I can't do that, how about you know I get to you know. 10% of the population or 2% of the population. That's usually how I think and how, how it, my mind thinks. That, that's called an all or nothing mentality. Sure. But you guys don't have that. You guys have this, about this at least, you guys have this variable thing where you just do it. I generally don't have an all or nothing mentality. I don't, I, I can't live like that. I've tried. It doesn't work out well for me. There's benef- There's pros and cons in both, because right? Because I, I find for myself, I end up stopping myself from trying a lot of things if I go about that all or nothing mentality. I don't. I don't find that in myself. I try things. Well, regularly. clearly, it, you you mentioned one example of you not doing it because you're like, well, <laughs> if I can't get that seventy percent or whatever arbitrary number that that is, yeah. I'm just not going to do it. Yeah, but yet. not doing this this choice turns out to other choices. Oh, for sure. Well, yeah, so sure. It gives you other things. Fine. Uh, sure. You know, it, there's no losses really. It's just choices. Life is just ch- pure choice. He picked to go to Boston. He's there now. He's he's doing his thing. You're here now. I'm I'm doing my thing here. It's like it's just pure choices. Do you think of like the other options that you could have done in your li- in the last 29 28 years that what could have been? No, generally you're thinking about what you're doing, how to improve it Depends. now. Depends. For some people, yes. Right? Majority, I would there, say. There are some things that some people will be like, "Yo, you know what? If I made a couple different decisions, could have done this or if I uh didn't hold myself back because of you know, I was scared of trying this thing. Could have done this. I simply this, it, m- this it, is if subjective. If you don't have that, honestly, that's I actually admire that because a lot I, of people I don't, have this issue of like. I, I don't think we have the time. Like I, I simply don't. Like time think about what? how busy you are, how busy you are, how busy I am. Time for what? Just to just to reflect on the past and be like, fuck. Like uh, yeah, it, if I could have done this and and did that. It, I, I mean, I think Bro, I with fucked the up. Imagine, with the amount of fucking weed you smoked, I would have thought you've had that thought at least a couple of times. Not really, man. I'd say my anxiety is like not as high as you guys think. I'd anxiety? Say Who said anything about anxiety? No, no, no. Just like a uh, reflection of like my life. Why do you equate those two things to be the same? Uh, because I've, uh, I don't know. I, I actually don't. That was probably a mistake. Okay. Fair but, uh, 
generally, I think I fucked up more than you guys, but I actually don't think about it. Where like, I wish I did this. And, I, and honestly, I, I say know? that I admire that because a lot of people make not nearly the same amount or even like magnitude of mistakes as you have. Yeah. And I don't mean this. <laughs> no, I don't mean no, disrespect. No, dude. I mean it's you, L's like, you take to yeah, the chin. Yeah, but it is what it is. given <laughs> that that small magnitude of mistakes that they've made on the quantity, they fuck themselves up way more. And like you can imagine, and to you, you look at them like that makes no sense. You're like my guy, why are you doing this to yourself? Why are you fucking beating yourself up over this like bullshit that doesn't matter? But to them, they can't see that. To them, it's not some small thing. It's like, oh my god, like why didn't I fucking go to that school when I got the offer letter? Why didn't I ask out that girl to do blah blah? It sounds people, like your past. <laughs> people like people beat themselves up for that. Like a lot of these like yeah. missed opportunities. Yeah. For sure. and, and it's like shit that you just said like doesn't really matter if you think about it you shouldn't really give that much that much thought yeah I, I just don't think you we have the time man to like reflect on that because you could just do make more memories and, and do different things and you just keep excelling you know i, I <laughs> sober <laughs> you know but you could Armand's ted talk Listen. I mean, honestly, like when this guy gets his sober thoughts together and he mixes it with a little bit of like high, like flavored, like little like pe- salt and pepper, it's not bad. Dude, the elbow is recovering pretty good, I'd say. Are you getting full extension? Well, I like working towards it, right? I just last night I did some crazy shit with you know one and a half arms, guys, and that was pretty pretty athletic on my end, you know. So. I think I'm doing well, man, my recovery. And, you know, I'm going to go back to what I said initially in this podcast, and you guys can see how crisp I am on this weed, son. What did I tell you, Dr. Evil? I said my, I made a mistake when I was about to pick him up because my alarm didn't ring. Yeah. But my recovery was unreal. My recovery was five to ten minutes. Okay. And we went back to this thing. So the reason my recovery is good is because of this ideology of like not reflecting on the past that mm. goes short term things that happen and long term things it's that good, happen man. and i think for a guy like me it's useful because i fucked up so much if i had to reflect on every fuck up or even the significant ones it'd be a lot of time wasted don't worry that's what the podcast is for dr evil how you feeling bud this guy's eyes are asleep son half in half <laughs> out yeah what a full cock cause... It's 4.30 right now in Boston. It's fucking 5.30. <laughs> the more you look at the clock, the more it stares back. Whose fault is this, though? Pilot. No, but really, though. Fault. Okay, how long were you guys waiting? 15, 20 minutes? We were waiting two hours? No, no, no. So, so he, first of all, who picks to come at 9 p.m. and then an hour of fucking customs and, and getting your baggage? Why pick this? Why? Oh. <laughs> Why? J- uh, like, if, if you price, want it to bro. be that cheap, just be like, yo, Armand, you know? Hook up 80 bucks or something. <laughs> and I'd be like, yo, here's 80 bucks. Come at five. Take I the SkyTrain Take the sky train to in front of my house. To his credit, I bet you what? There's probably like two options to fly in today, right? Like a morning yeah, and an afternoon. Just one flight per day. Is it just one flight per day? That one, airline, one I guess. Flight, yeah. Oh, direct. Yeah. Then, yeah, then, yeah See? Come f- come Friday next time. Well, I could have actually, yeah. Yeah. Come Friday. Pick you up Friday. No, Friday was worse, I think, because it's a long weekend in the U.S. To this weekend? Yeah. Juneteenth. Juneteenth. Oh. Yeah. 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 We got this email about this. So we're, we're going to take. Oh, because you guys gonna are take, international corporate. Yeah. We're going to take one. This is what I'm saying. Being corporate. I, bro, I'm not going to talk shit about this company, but like fucking the best. the ease, One of the easiest jobs and the most fun jobs I've had in construction. That's pretty cool. Literally meeting city. I fucking love it. Meeting There's meetings city. about meetings. Alarms about you part- alarms. You participate in these yet? Every single one, bro. <laughs> Armand, how you feeling? I'm Every pretty good, single bro. one, bro. I agree. Wednesday, we're supposed to go to the fucking Whitecaps game. Actually? Yeah. That's sick. I'll, um, see, I'll see you there. But I'm not going, bro. Oh, damn. It's okay, at 6 bro. p.m. If, it, if it's, it's, it's during seven. work hours, I'm there. It's a 7. It's if, a it's, seven. Uh, if it's if it's past that, bro, I got stuff to do, man. All People right, will okay, see. Gotcha, People gotcha. will see. Yeah. I want to see you there, man. Um, you got the season pass, though. Yeah, I go with my dad. See this guy, man. This guy's hella cute. I I wish I could just take a video compilation of this guy from when he was like two years old with his dad to when he's like twenty eight years Bro, old. That'd be like the coolest thing ever. <laughs> It'd be so sick. It'd be so <laughs> sick. So, what do you actually do with this company? Uh, so basically, I oversee certain parts of the project. It's tiered. Um, f- basically, it, it starts from what they need 
in Amazon and what they need in Canada Post as far as facility wise. It's about a, a million something square uh, square footage that you have we we're doing um, and it's all commercial. There's no residential. So everything's steel studded concrete. Okay. Still don't know what you're doing. Like you got to explain them what you are doing so you always you're still you're just supervising guys uh basically we go through the blueprints there's multiple b blueprints so there's think about like they have all this architectures that come all these engineers that come make these blueprints based on a amazon cu customer and a canada post customer they agree to these blueprints then they come and we we're the developers and we start you know Grabbing the trades, hiring trades, mm. having trade talks, what we need from the trades. The trades have their own set of blueprints. Plumbing have plumbers. Rebar has rebar. Electricians have electricians, so on and so forth. CCTV guys have that low voltage, whatever, steel stud, all that. That being said, these, these, the funniest thing, all these drawings never match. They never match. We can't core through uh there's a there's a building code that you can't core through rebar mm -hmm. we have over like 30 40 holes on every floor that are gonna have to go through rebar we're, we're gonna have to think of structural things we have to do mm. extra welding yeah yeah whatever we fucking can to pass these inspections because otherwise we're fucked mm. right we can't have the same floor plan now we got to get go to a different floor plan like there's a lot of things that there's managing so you know You'll have any guys on that site anywhere from a guy that's, you know, temp work to a guy who's like an exec trying to like check up on a site. Um, mm. But yeah, that's that's pretty much what we do. But it's like 18 meetings a day. I was going to say, it's it seems like nice. the, the main responsibility is overseeing the subcontractors. It's nice. It's definitely nice. Um, that is basically yeah. it. Okay, that Say makes so. sense. Yeah. Okay. Look how tired are you right now? On a scale of Pretty one to tired. ten. What other questions? Do you have more? Yeah, there's like, what, did you have another one? Oh, the uh, herd. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Herd? Amber herd. So there's this, oh. uh, I don't know how how in-depth you've you've heard about this uh, Amber herd. Um, Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp uh, divorce. Man, this is the first time I realized there's a guy's face on this lighter. First time ever. I saw that earlier. Yeah. I, I I didn't even pick up on this. I thought this was just a bunch of fucking acid like fucking uh, design. But anyway, these guys, uh, some foul shit's been going on, man, and we cover that because that's in our name. This bitch fucking took a shit in this guy's bed. Bro. That's <laughs> I been, don't care how high you are. That's been testified to in court, so yeah, like, no one's lying at this point. And she said some silly shit in court, and so has her lawyers. Like some absolutely silly shit. We could literally go through a compilation. Oh my gosh, bad. of. Of just that one old lawyer that's just, she's almost like incest, like her family line. Just oh a, yeah, I'm like, what are you talking about? Fucking worst genetics I've ever seen on somebody. Um, and she just makes fucking mistakes left and right, and it's fucking hilarious. There was a few moments that I saw that they just like totally fucked up her testimony. At one point, Amber Heard is being question cross examined by Johnny Depp's lawyer, hmm. and she's being asked about some of the things that her and Johnny Depp were talking about, like past relationships. And at what point she says something like, oh yeah, you know, Kate Moss was abused or something like that. And that's the, well, that's one of the moments where the lawyers were like super ecstatic, Johnny Depp's lawyers, because they knew for a fact that Kate Moss not only had never been abused by Johnny Depp, but that she was willing to testify to this in court. And there was something, I don't know, you, you know way more legal jargon than me, but there was something preventing them from actually bringing Kate Moss forward as a witness until Amber Heard mentioned her in testimony. Mm. And as soon as she did it, everyone's like, Trap oh. card yeah, activated. Like, <laughs> and like literally two days after that, they brought Kate Moss in. And she's like, yeah, Johnny didn't ever touch it, blah, blah, blah. And she like, testified man, listen to me. Listen to me. If I'm Johnny Depp right now, right? You know what I'm doing right now? I'm going back to Kate motherfucking Moss, son. If she's single, bro, I'm hitting that old wrinkly pussy up, son. Bro, that really loyalty, like English, that that loyalty, bro. That loyalty that is, is like that was, sexy that was, that as that fuck, was son. Cool. That was pretty cool. How many of those are you gonna find in that industry, that, son? That's the woman he hadn't been with for like many years. Bro, I'm calling that pussy up and just folding the wrinkles on my she face. Like, bro, she actually like she's like seventy. She's like 
45 at best. She's a rough 45. Rough. I got I gotta I gotta go deeper with my voice when I say a rough. She's a rough when they forty-five. Play with the, uh, if equalizer, we say I just bump up the bass. Yeah. Rough. It's forty-eight. Forty-eight. Yeah. See, the pretty on the money there. But yeah, overall that trial was a fucking I don't know, man. That was like a circus act. That was every day people were posting videos about that. Every fucking day. Some like highlight clip or some like fucking reaction videos. There were lawyers fucking posting shit on YouTube. I don't know, man. It was pretty hilarious. Yeah, yeah but I, I think we think of people in these professions as like they, they're going to have some class or something. I, I, I simply don't think that's true. And that's something I've came to realize at a at a later age, like past 20 something. Is like that these these people aren't responsible for, you know, being good people necessarily. Just because they are these high, you know, oh yeah, the position, professions, the position yeah. doesn't give them the class. It's really exactly, just them. yeah, fair, yeah. Fair, it's fair. not, it's not actually true. Because you know, I was kind of raised on that mentality. I don't know if you guys were, but my mom would always be like, "Yeah, the reason you want to go to school is because you want to be around those people with the yeah, higher classes." Yeah, they're gonna like bring you exactly. Up. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. and when I'm around those people, I'm like, "You guys actually aren't higher classes. Some of you guys are fucking retarded and like it's full of shit." You know what I mean? I, so I got a totally random question for you. Uh. Do you think you could travel across Canada starting with one cent with a penny in your pocket? So, like, nothing. Uh, one penny. Literally, like, I give you one penny and, like, all right, obviously the clothes in your back and, like, change of clothes or some, sh- some like, basic shit. Can I do – how you long do I have – uh, Give you a month. Hell, yeah. You could do it? Easy. Across Canada. Easy. And how would you start? Like, cr- I have to go cross or I could take a plane you can take a plane. <laughs> okay. So you have one cent. How are you going to buy a plane ticket? How much time do I have, though? I have a month? You have one month. Huh, bro, it's done. Okay, how are you starting? <laughs> Dude. This guy's laughing. Like, you literally have one cent. You can't, like, I'm going to go money. to... Okay. Well, I, some of this stuff I can't disclose, like, on, on the pod. Uh, can't do any of that. <laughs> I, I'd still just go... I, no. I'd go to one of my previous fucking employers and start working. For a month? Oh, okay. I'd work for a week. Uh, I'll add a l- more Grab a plane ch- ticket. Um, another challenge you, you can't do any of that kind of work either. Has to be like almost like street level shit. <laughs> I'll go rob some fucking place. <laughs> <laughs> can't be illegal, run. bro. Because I'm getting to the point of like we would post this on YouTube, right? So it can't be any shit that would get us flagged. Okay. Uh, kind of fucked, man. I um. <laughs> it went from like bro easy i'll do what i always do I'm like dude come on yo but there's some like okay he knows that rob. <laughs> <laughs> no but the thing is is like in in those emergencies like if, if i if it's like life or death or something you got to do something you just step up and do some crazy shit but if you if you're like okay those things are not touchable well then this is not no longer real life you know no, what I mean? it's not real life it's a challenge so i never said it was real life i said could you how would you this? do it well, I'll explain it just because I've already seen it happen. Okay. The reason, Doctor Evil, go ahead. Yeah. Does he know? I, I don't think. No, I don't know. Do you have any idea uh, how you would start? Where? You, well, yeah. Let's where do you start? Start from Vancouver and then let's say yeah, uh, Montreal. Yeah, sure. I'll, I'll drop you off in downtown. Um, you have your phone with you, so you can access that. Okay. Uh, you have a change of clothes with you, a backpack. You have internet. You have internet, yeah, with your phone. Yeah. Oh, there's got to be like some sort of hitchhikers forum or something. Some sort of forum where you get free rides. I guess that could work. Try and yeah, hopscotch sure. from one to another. Across. But how are you going to eat? Um, Steal. Do they have like soup kitchens and stuff you can get into? Yeah, I guess you could do that. So you're just going to act homeless. I mean, Dude, you if are you have internet, point. like f- you can find all this stuff. But if you don't, it's really tough. No, yeah, that, that'll make it extra hard. If you don't have internet, then yeah, it's some kind of panhandling. I, I was talking hiking. about this with Emily. Well, even if you don't have internet, you could just wait till fucking 9 to 5 and go to like Waves Coffee and use their internet. Right. True. Yeah. Yeah. You so could. it's not like it's like time restricted, but yeah, you can still do it. Some most of these guys, that's how they do it, bro. Or or, or the smart ones just get one of those fucking Wi-Fi hubs, like the Chinese yeah, ones yeah, that yeah. you don't have to pay monthly for. Yeah. Right. Those. That's like twenty four seven. Sometimes it's trash, but you put plug that in, and I've seen some of these motherfuckers with what four money, or five what, antennas. What money you buying that with? Theft. <laughs> <laughs> five finger bro, discount, I, son. I can't. I can't post that on YouTube. Can't Let's, do it. What's okay. The, what's the uh, the, re- the reason I, I brought this challenge up. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's Go give ahead, her a ahead. deeper thought a little bit, though. Because sure. because I would think there's one penny. You start here and you go there and you have. Do you have a phone? 
you, you realize you can make this penny grow, right? Like no, I understand the penny growth, yeah. but in a month, it's... You gotta uh, plant it and then water it. Exactly. You got to say nice things to it. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, the, the reason <laughs> I bring this thing up... Fucking <laughs> 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 little penny tree. <laughs> fucking fuck money out tree here. out here. Yo, I sent yo, fuck you, you, man. This uh, is stupid. No, this is not. The, I sent the, I sent this video series <laughs> on, the, on the chat. 25 cents. There, there's a guy who's actually doing this right a now. Quarter tree. <laughs> <laughs> when do you get a dollar tree? Fucking dollar <laughs> ammo out of here. Oh, man. Louis tree after like two years. Um, oh, th- there's, a, there's a kid um, who's actually doing this challenge right now across America. But... <laughs> you uh, can't, <laughs> can't pull it. About... A big, p- a big part of it is like fundraising. So there's half of it's fundraising, half of it's like the challenge of like trying to get across mm. on America. And he started like, obviously there were some stipulations like, yeah, you can't be getting like us like that kind of job. Obviously you can't be doing any illegal shit. So what he did, pretty simply, started off in Venice, and he like Venice Beach, and he's gonna go all the way. <laughs> <to Venice. laughs> now this guy woke up, I just hit delirium. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why. You um, can't be doing anything like that. No, 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 no. <laughs> can't be doing anything. Turn, <laughs> turning tricks. It's actually, like, <laughs> the way this guy's done it, it almost makes it seem, like, easy. Because yeah. he started off with a penny. Yeah, and how he, he convert it? I saw that. He, I heard about he, that. He, yeah, watch it again. It's actually pretty good. I didn't, I didn't watch it's, it. I just heard you it. You should watch. It's on, like, day 18 or something right now. Um, he managed to trade that penny. Someone just kind of took pity on him, just gave him a water bottle. Mm. And from that water bottle, he sold that on the street for $2. And he did. He repeated that a couple of times until he had like twenty dollars in his hand. Just took a bottle and was like, "Hey, you want to you want to buy a, a water bottle? Two dollars?" And he just whatever. Yeah. Eventually, got enough that he could actually buy a cooler, and with the cooler, he could buy the cooler with ice and with water. And then he just went around the street and he made like a hundred bucks in I don't know, like three, like two hours of work because it was a hot day in Venice Beach, and so mm. he just sold all the water. And then from there, he bought himself a hammock so he could sleep because I mean, LA is hot as fuck. You can sleep outside. It's no big deal. So that's that was his uh, sleeping situation, as well as meals were like Chipotle and McDonald's were included there as well. The other thing that he started using a lot was. Um, so how was how was he getting food? What he would work for buy his money it. and then buy it. What do you mean? Mm. You don't need much, like six, five bucks, and enough for like a McDonald's sandwich or like a Chipotle burrito. I thought you said you can't work. You can work, but you can't like fucking. What, that, that's you, technicality, the bro. Like, I, am I gonna fuck? film you working construction for eight hours? No, I want to make it fucking interesting. Like, like this guy did it. It has it's, to be immediate too. I think. Yeah, that that too. Like, we, yeah, you can't wait two weeks for a paycheck. What are you gonna do in those two weeks? I forgot about. You that. don't have to. You can work. Yeah, end I know. Of work day. today, pay today. Yeah, I know, pay yeah, today. What too. the fuck? Two but weeks. I, I can't film a job in two hours. I do fuck yeah. Not only that, but like yes, it, it's, it's. I'll wake up tomorrow this morning at six and get a job Bro, on Sunday. Bro, I gotta make this something people want to fucking watch. No one wants to see you fucking well, you get up, and try go this? to a construction site. Yeah, it'd be kind of cool. Yeah. No one wants to see you go to a fucking construction site and like see? fuck around for He's eight lying. hours. He made it a competition. It would be fun. That's yeah. Well, so this this guy's doing stuff that people are like yeah. really interested. In. They want to like see what gonna, he's gonna like, do next. Rob you once you have the twenty right? bucks. So like <laughs> the the other one they started doing was uh, door dashing. So he he started door dashing a bit to like get a bit of like ten bucks here. Mm-hmm. Uh no he he ended up getting a, a bicycle. So generally, I mean, there's a uh, a thing of like okay, s- some jobs are some jobs. Yes, oh, part of it is trying new jobs. So he did like I said, selling shit on the street, DoorDash. Then at one point he was like washing windows, and then at one point mm. he's like walking dogs, just trying out different things. Yeah, going to different cities, eventually making his way to South uh, North Carolina, collecting money along the way as well. Like I that, think like I, fundraising. I think the harder thing would be to not actually have like an physical job like uh like no actual organized job well there's nothing really that would organized be, about that'd selling be shit on the street That's sure but doing. doordash is pretty organized or door, right? doordash is definitely organized. right so I, i'm saying like you can you can panhandle that's not a job no no but like a a, a, a way of getting income maybe not a Honestly, job but th- at the rate that he was making money off of like the drinks it the, the problem is it ends up being boring no one's gonna watch 20 videos of this guy just selling water on the street Mm. But he could easily make a decent amount of money to buy food and buy transportation off just selling water How on the street. How old is he? He's like he's uh he's like twenty five, twenty four. Looks interesting. I, I was telling Emil about this, and he's like, "Yo, you know, what would be the fucking sickest, like next level, something you guys you guys should try." You you've played this. You, you don't know what this game is. Remember Rust? Yeah. He's like, imagine starting off like Rust in real life. You just show up. There's a video game where you start off naked with underwear and a rock. It's supposed to like build up like trying to get weapons, trying to kill people. So Emil's like, yo, 
start off like Rust, where you just give him like underwear and a rock, and see if he can make his way and fucking across America. Go to like a I don't know like a fucking shelter, get some clothes. We could we could try something like a more civilized Rust. Well, that's what I mean. Like that that's a bit ridiculous because like that's I like think, no I think phone, this this no, no nothing. Anybody in sales, if you hear about uh, something like this, it's, it's very provoking to it's, actually it's a, try it's a, it. Yeah, for sure. Because Bro, it doesn't have to be a like, month. It could be like a week. How far do you get in a week? And I'll follow you and I'll film you. No, no. Shit. The cool thing is we could actually do this because the timeline for like vacation time yeah. and stuff would match. So. What I, well, I would say is like 30 days is a bit, uh, that's a bit long. But I could say like days we, could, mo- we could modify it. Like yeah. how far does he get in a week? Yeah. And I'll just follow you. And like, all right, he got to Or like week. 10 hours. Let's see how long he can, what you can do with 10 hours. Can you get like... 50 bucks in 10 hours you get 100 bucks 200 bucks i don't even make it that is like what can you do with that because it was cool to see like he's trying to travel the country so like could you make it to could you make it to calgary in two days starting with a dollar kind of yeah thing. bro calgary Something like that. two days hell yeah it, starting with one dollar in your phone fuck yeah how much is a flight to calgary pull it up uh pull it up two, jamie 200 200 easy Two uh, days? Yeah, but like, remember, all the stipulations apply. I have to be able to film this, so no. Yeah, I'll shit. do an hour. I'll do an hour of a, a, activity. Of what? Can I film this activity? First thing, I'd go to <laughs> Greg's list. I would look at like any two-hour fucking list. Craig. <laughs> <laughs> Greg's list. <laughs> any two-hour oh, fucking cash. Oh yeah. Right, because I have yeah, because I have internet. Done. Right. No, no, that works. Yeah, so I do any kind of that, or uh, anybody looking for a tutor. That's fucking easy money. Tutors, easy money. Especially if you have like some Bro, type of... Bro, that's paying like 25 an hour. Yeah, it's going to take best. too long. Okay, fine, fine, What are you going to tutor for <laughs> five hours fine. straight? There's some piecework construction stuff. That you, they'd be no, like that, 150 that is cool. bucks. You have an advantage that this kid does not. Sure. Where you have the construction experience and just like the electrical, the plumbing, whatever. Sure. That's, that's actually kind of... Another cool. way would be like if, if, if some guy like Sonny, like if he's actually good at poker. Or dude, you could you know? wash cars for like a couple hours. Like if, I don't know, you have detail but, I, I but yeah, I'm, I'm trying to i'm trying to keep the activities to an hour long you know what i mean or however long like you need but one like, to well, let's say one to three hours dip, well depends what the stipulation is because yeah. if i say you got to make your way to fucking montreal in x amount of days you're like i gotta get moving here right yeah or the extra one too it's like okay you can't you can't fly from here to here like, i would just, say i would work during the day and different jobs that would give me just enough food that i don't starve yeah and enough money to ch- keep going, because that's all you need. It's like just food and just fucking it's, money to like go. Like I said, it's a really cool. Because you could sleep if you even in the winter time. Like as long as it's not snowing, you're gonna get hy- like hyperthermia that's or something. That's the issue. Like right? the, the benefit of this kid was he started in L.A. Yeah, yeah. Where L.A.'s like that's nice. why he even said he's like, guys, honestly, this is almost easy mode because I just buy a hammock and I'm sleeping in some like upscale neighborhood and I'm good. Yeah. No one's gonna say shit. It's nice out. I don't even need a sweater. Yeah. Versus like, and he's white, right? Oh, he's white. Yeah, so that's and, and huge. He's, he's like that a black kid too. doing this or an Arab kid doing this definitely gonna get stopped a couple of times. There's that. That's like a uh, hard a mode over times. here, bro. This is the the hardest mode. <laughs> mm. You you cross the street from downtown, you're getting shot. <laughs> but it, <it's, laughs> Both dead. But it's a cool idea. It's, yeah, it's no, cool. for sure. So. Um, I think this would be good to start in North Van and try to go to like uh, Kelowna in like uh, eight eight hours or something. Sure. You that'd can, be that'd be it. cool. Yeah be down for that for with with like not like with zero you have to see yeah, start off with like one yeah. well, one penny Let's yeah one penny. you gotta be something eight to would, it, would do you think eight would be doable it's or doable would you'd have to get basically get enough money to rent a car in three hours yeah yeah <laughs> so you're just doing one activity i would just go work for three hours bro the problem is a car is expensive like rental car is like these days you need at least need like 200 plus the gas to get you there yeah but they come like well, half gas right uh then they come full. Yeah. Okay. So. so but you go. gotta refill. Yeah, but once I'm there, it. right? No, but you gotta pay for it. But no, but once I'm there, right? I could pay for the initial. But once I'm there, I could uh, I get my money back, right? I guess. Yeah. Sure. I'd give so. it to you. But yeah. But I I'd want to like have it clear where it's like okay, you got there and you gotta like drop off your shit. Although I guess the fact that like getting there is the goal. Yeah, so getting there's the goal. Yeah, yeah. So I'm already there. Versus like you having to go somewhere else. Then yeah, you, you get saved by up. the bell, son. Yeah. True. 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 Saved by the bell. That's not a bad one. Yeah. So you have to figure out a way to make 300 bucks yeah in three hours that that's it that's sounds tough. tough that's kind of tough. tough that's actually tough um i would have to do some illegal, illegal no, activities man, you can't. first then the, the challenge is void right um what if i just rob someone <laughs> can i can i uh can i bully somebody into it no man. Not no, rob no coercion of any kind no but like no hitting just like a little 
Just grab some. <laughs> no. <laughs> like start with a bottle, like you know what I'm saying? Like a little bottle, like a little water bottle. <laughs> All right, just grab that shit. No, I got to We're not gonna get flagged on YouTube for any of this shit. It's gotta be some people not only to want to watch. Yeah. But YouTube's not gonna fuck us up on this. What if I strategically take it? Like Shut I hit it with a rock, <laughs> but I'm standing ten feet away. Get the so, hell out. so the person who owns it doesn't know that. Uh, doesn't know that I'm trying to take it, right? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They're completely no, clueless. I'm not Does that it. count? I'm not filming. It doesn't count. I'm not filming it either. Yo, Dr. Evil looks like fucking... Uh, no, let's just wrap it. <laughs> Dr. Oh, Evil, yeah. Dr. Evil <laughs> looks like wrap. a fucking opiate head <laughs> right now. Just straight nodding no, off. It looks like... like I, didn't, I didn't really sleep on the flight, too. Didn't I?